that never had a song written about it before. I wrote this song called Edmonton. Next thing I knew, I was getting the key to the city from the mayor. I was being flown across country on a big tour and everything. And it was fantastic. The only thing that happened was when I came back home here, everybody put the pressure on me to write a song about Carolina. They said, everybody thinks you're Canadian now, Toke. And I said, well, not if they saw me skate. They would know I wasn't Canadian. But they said, no, Toke, you got to write a song about Carolina. So I was having a lot of trouble because nothing could be finer than to be in Carolina. That was taken already. That was gone. And my uh, homeboy, James Taylor, he had his Carolina song, and that was gone. But I've got this daughter who's an award-winning poet, and she had some poems laying around. So I stole some of her lyrics, put it together with my lyrics, and uh, came up with this next tune. You know, my first record way back when, a little too late for me, Carolina.
every show or now and then. How many of you folks out there uh, saw the movie Crazy Heart? Okay, for you folks listening on radio, there's about 2,000 people out here tonight, and uh, about, I don't know, roughly 500 of them saw Crazy Heart. Um, if you remember, for those of you who didn't see the movie, the, the premise of the film, Jeff Bridges, of course, playing the singer-songwriter, traveling all over the country, eight hours to every gig, and uh, it looked a little too familiar to me. I said, well, I know this character. <laughs> it scared me, although he drank a whole lot more than I've ever drank. I think he drank more than one night, I think, than I drank in a year, but anyway, it led to the... Uh, Let's just say it led to this next song.
We all need a lesson now and then, right? Don't we? We're going to have a lesson. Check in with them because the finest pickers around are teachers there. Finally, mention the Tokyo Rosenthal program. Just walk in off the street. Say Tokyo Rosenthal program and they'll give you a free gift. They're located at 116 West Main Street in Carborough. I wasn't going to tell you that. I figured, you know, I'd get extra money for that on the side. But anyway, once again, they're located at 116 West Main Street in Carborough. Google the Music Loft Carborough for more info. Those of you listening out of the area, out of the country, get in your car, take a plane, start a caravan. But get to the Music Loft. All right, very exciting moment here for me right now for a, a woman who I had the pleasure of meeting, actually, the first time in the Music Loft. I was in there buying some strings, and I heard in the guitar room this beautiful voice coming out of there. And I said, oh, i got to go see who that is. And uh, she was actually in there uh, free being on one of their guitars while her son was getting a bass lesson and uh, told me that she was about to make this miraculous musical comeback. And I was like, I've heard this before, but she had the skills, and she pulled it off. And here she is tonight. I'm real excited to have her standing right next to me. Please welcome Isabel Taylor. Uh, the first song I want to sing for you tonight is uh, about this experience that Tokyo referred to as my comeback, but you have to be able to, like, you're coming back from something if it's a comeback, right? So, uh, for me, it was just a matter of having put my music away for a really long time, so this sort of tells the story of how I came back to it.
on viola. I met Tom Head uh, about five years ago. I started um, doing open mics in the area, and uh, Tom Head would frequent these. And we met actually not at an open mic, but at sort of a jam that uh, some mutual friends were playing at in Raleigh, and they had invited some of their mutual friends out. And that's where we met. Do you remember that? Yeah. So. Um, I think it was a gig in Raleigh that I had been hired for. It was the first gig I was ever hired for. And uh, yeah, it was at uh, this place that's not in, in, uh, in business anymore, in Fork and Barrel. But, uh, so I called Tom Ed up, I had just met him, and I was like, do you wanna accompany me? Like, it would be great to have some, some backup. And uh, he came over and we started playing together, he improvised great, and we've been together ever since. And that was going on two years ago. Uh, so the song I, I just sang was uh, the first song actually that I, I wrote um, right around that time. Uh, I hadn't written much at all except for like as a kid, you know, those little heartbreak songs when you're 14, and, um, which I would never play in public now, of course. But um, this, uh, this next song was written in the same week. Uh, at the beach. The beach is a, a wonderful place for me to relax and um, reconnect with myself and with my husband and with nature. And um, so this next song is, is one that I wrote and again two years ago when these songs first started coming to me.
Hey, what's up? 
So uh, I was actually sitting with my dear friend Alana, who happens to be here tonight, and um, just wrote down some couplets that kind of just came to me, and that became this song this year. All my good intentions, somehow I forget them, keeping myself busy with the things I get to do, for I know it, it's September, about then I remember, promises I made to me and I'm feeling like a
Chamberlain will be our guest here. Looking forward to having old Charlie back here. And uh, make sure you catch us up in Abingdon, Virginia on the 26th. 27th, the Bunkhouse in Bulls Gap, Tennessee. I almost forgot the name of that town there. And the Hippie Jack Festival in Crawford, Tennessee. And uh, what can I tell you? Tune back in sometime, okay? Mm -hmm.